merch, man. It's just merch. It's just merch. Ah, it's just merch. Guys, this merch is so good, it should be illegal. Go shop at BigBearWeatherAndMore.com to get yours. What is up, everybody? Yes, I'm back. It's raining. It's raining pretty good, too. I can't believe it. I think it's the first. I think it's August 1st, 2024. But yeah, it's summertime in beautiful, beautiful Big Bear Lake. Yes, it is August 1st. But how you guys doing? I am so happy to be back right now. You have no idea. I am so happy to see you guys. Um, yeah, it's uh, we've got a possibility for a few minutes of some fairly intense weather right now. So we shall see what happens. Right now we're on some we're on, on one of the back streets. <coughs> this back street is called Sugarloaf Boulevard. This is a really, really, really terrific route in the winter time, you guys, when there's a lot of snow around because uh, your flow of traffic on Big Bear Boulevard is always a nightmare. And this will, lots of times it'll look just like this, nobody. But then you'll have to wait an hour plus just to drive from one side of town to the other uh, during regular winter conditions so yeah <clears throat> and I always show you guys all these shortcuts and stuff like that I I enjoy helping you guys out so anyway once again it's super cool to be back with you guys we are just going to uh, cut back to the boulevard yeah I can't believe this you guys this is you know, this is like a, it's still an, an accumulation of thunderstorms. It's, I'm pretty sure it is from the monsoonal flow. But on, on two radars that I looked at, it appears that it's going from west to east. So that's typically not how the monsoon flow works. Typically we get it from the other side. Yeah, this is absolutely awesome. And it smells so awesome. The uh, hydrochlor, hydrochlor, I think is what the name is. You guys always help me with that. But yeah, the reason why we weren't on Big Red Boulevard is because there's a bunch of traffic. But we are gonna head back because they're doing road road construction which they tend to do in the, the middle of the day up here I'm used to down the mountain where they'll do it at night time and they'll set up all those lights uh, so they can work late at night so you're not interrupting people's day but this is Big Bear that's how they do it must be too small of too small of a town but I wanted to show you guys it's it's down to one lane over here Yeah, this is horrible. All right, you guys, so we are gonna take side streets back to where we need to go. But we came into the Big Bear City part of town because again, with our, with the typical monsoon style flow, that's where the storms are uh, hitting the hardest. And as they pass through the mountain range, they dissipate a bit. So that's why we like to be in Big Bear City for these storms. Winter time, complete opposite. As soon as those storms hit the dam area, the dam, dam area, and the, uh, you, oh my gosh. As soon as they hit the dam area, um, you don't really have a, uh, much left to the storms that come through. They hit the dam, they hit Snow Summit, Bear Mountain, that mountain right there, that area, and then uh, they just break apart. It's, it's pretty remarkable how all that happens. It really is. We live in such an interesting area for weather. Mountains are always gonna be volatile to storms. They're always gonna cause problems for the storms. But 
yeah, this is the type of day I love. This is a beautiful day for me. It was supposed to start a little bit later, but I started smelling fresh rain and it smells so good. And I knew, I knew that it had started raining. If we get lucky, we'll catch some lightning bolts out of this as well. But no matter what, we're gonna cruise and get ourselves back into Moon Ridge right now, taking the back streets. And yeah, we could possibly get up to an inch of rain out of this, and uh, that's not bad. Our town would be very thankful for that. But anyway, again, good to be back with you guys. Hope you guys have been well. Sorry, I haven't done too many videos this summer. Um, you know, I'm just trying not to force any content. And then there's been some other things that have been going on, like uh, not good things. So it's been, it's been, it's been tough. Uh, so I'm just, again, just so, so happy to be back with you guys. You guys make my life so happy. I get to get a ton of comments. Obviously, now that we have a storm and things are a little bit settling down for me, nothing's better, but things are settling down. Um, most of you know that I, I respond usually very quickly, like within an hour or so, typically, to all the comments. So please, uh, please understand that I'll be a lot better at that compared to the last two or three months. All right, we're at Division Road. I saw something horrible yesterday, guys. Something horrible. It was really, really bad. about anything or you'll get in trouble of course I'm not worried about being demonetized because I don't make hardly anything but I do worry about them getting mad at me please check it out and tell me if you've seen the channel obviously find my videos from the winter time I've been doing this for a decade in Big Bear can you guys believe that I've, I've been doing this channel for a decade this will be our Let's see. I moved here May 1st, 2015, and never missed a single snowstorm since then. So this will be our our 10th year, our 10th winter doing this. I just, it's, it's mind blowing to me. And you guys, winter's gonna be here fast. I can tell you right now, they're predicting a La Nina. I don't ever buy into any of the BS predictions that they give. I mean, for the supposed El Nino last year, I, I always try to find ways to rationalize in my own head that they were correct. And last year, the fact that we had a lot more rain with these snowstorms is one way to show you it was more in El Nino because it's picking up warmer moisture and bringing it obviously into our hood up here. But with a La Nina, what should happen, and it has happened since I've lived here, is if it really is a La Nina, we're not gonna get as many storms, right guys? But what we do get it's gonna predominantly be all snow for the most part, which will make it seem like we have a lot more snow than we did last year. And I have a feeling we will have more snow than we did last year. But yeah, the storms will be regular storms. 
not too much subtropical moisture infused, but that's what's gonna keep our storms colder. And then, as I said, for most, if not all of the storms, we are going to get snow and nothing but. And I know it totally looks like I'm flying. When I look through the camera, you guys, it looks like I'm going so fast. It looks like I am going so fast. It really does, but look, I'm going 26 miles per hour. Speed limit's 25. If it was icy and I, you know, I'd be driving even slower because you want to drive whatever is safe for the current conditions that you're in. But yeah, this is just so beautiful. I love it. Anyway, this is going to be a little short short video to show you guys what's going on up here but yeah it's beautiful smells great um, this is gonna be awesome for our sap problem that we've been having but anyway take care guys if you like what you see and you want to support the channel please hit like and subscribe help me out again I've been super consistent with our weather stuff two weeks or a week a week ago I was stuck at the airport and I had to miss my first set of thunderstorms in years because of Delta Airlines and CrowdStrike so I was so upset. Anyway, I love you guys. Take care.